Hi, it's John. Lovely to meet up with you at the range to do some further work on your game. Uh, just to quickly recap on the key points and drills that we discussed during this most recent visit. Uh, first of all, we touched on your posture. Uh, we noticed on the left that you've started to get a little bit closer to the ball. Uh, Handle really low. Hands hanging inwards from the shoulder. Rather than more directly down beneath the shoulder so slight change to your posture uh, give yourself a little bit more room stand a little taller etc the main thing is to create this gap between your hands and your thighs from this position the main issue is that there is too much lifting of the hands early in the backswing midway back we're looking straight down the left arm Whereas the hands really should be more in. As per the green arrow, the a little bit more depth in the backswing. And then as we go to the top, there's some further lifting and the flex in the right leg is maintained too long. So not enough extension of the right leg, not enough inward movement of the hands and the arms on the way back. From the, the tendency is to stay above plane. There's been an emphasis on the rotational aspect of the swing. Uh, brought around through a little confusion about how you should start the downswing, etc. Uh, the initial drill that we did to pinpoint how the downswing starts identified that you begin the downswing by moving the left knee down and forward. Um, this was made easier as was the straightening of the right leg if you at set up try and create a scenario where you feel like you're on a down slope um, once you've got that clear in your mind that sort of light bulb moment if you will it became much easier to start the down swing properly straighten the right leg in the back swing etc etc so Really, the main concern was getting the arms in enough on the way back and keeping them in for long enough on the way down. Once the club starts tumbling out in front of us, like you see on the left, then what we're going to do is we're going to start to extend, stand up, raise the level of the belt, raise the handle quickly to prevent the club moving further across and then it already is so there's a last ditch effort to try and reroute the golf club and get the golf club to come more from the inside you can see there that's clearly not happening but that's what you're attempting to do so the overriding theme here is arms in and arms staying in so we just stop you there at P3 when the left arm's parallel with the back uh, with the ground in the backswing. What we've done here is we've gone from wherever the normal ball position would be, and we've positioned ourselves hitting balls, four balls back in the grid, with the ball position further back in the stance. That's establishing a little bit more downward and a little bit more outward. And we explain to you that when hitting these shots, we want to hit a straight push. Out to the right because that's what the ball position uh, is sort of presetting, if you will. The main thing with this drill is that by putting the ball further back in the grid, it makes it easier for the golfer to become familiar with the arms coming inwards and the arms staying inwards in order to hit a push. The arms will stay in. You can see they're at P3 now, the arms are angled much more inwards. There's much less lifting to the top. The lower body's extending much better, so the right leg's getting rid of some flex. The arms are then staying in for longer, so that's the key. The arms come in on the way back, but stay more in on the way down, which in turn is making it much easier to deliver that golf club from the inside rather than the outside. So this drill's designed to give that player, put that player in a scenario where he can become familiar 
with the feels involved with keeping the arms in, attacking the ball from the inside and hitting out for longer through the hit. And that results in a slightly different shot pattern. We're hitting some nice pushes. Ball started to go higher. Club face rolls less. So a lot of good things start to happen when you do that drill. Uh, it's a lovely way of feeling that inside approach. Something that we need to get familiar with. The more the arms stay in, the less of a dramatic raise of the handle and a tucking under of the hips we require on the way through so that little move through the ball is going to take a little bit tidying up a little bit getting used to but the main thing is to keep the arms working inwards on the way back less lifting and then keep the arms in on the way down from a sequencing point of view when you're out on the golf course playing uh, use your practice swing to your advantage swing to the top stop Hold it for a soak for a count of three and then swing down. Once you're doing that, you're going to feel for the sequencing of the swing, uh, what initiates the downswing, what direction do the arms go in the downswing early in the piece. Um, in order for you to make a good swing from a standing start, you have to sequence your movements much better. Good luck with it. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop me a line. And I shall forward you an email with a few dates for mid-December uh, or early January in the coming weeks. Good luck. Well done.